Well, news of Justin Bieber being diagnosed with Lyme disease. When singer Justin Bieber went public about his struggles with Lyme, it seems everyone started talking about it, including us. But if people don't know that they have it, the situation gets a lot worse and they could end up having arthritis, nerve pain, inflammation of the brain. And watching this story was someone in Seattle who'd been living this list of symptoms. And all this time I'm just being told celiac, low thyroid, um, maybe you have endometriosis. Like I'm just sort of being told these random autoimmune diagnoses, and, but I'm being told them without a whole lot of concrete evidence that I have them. She was sleeping 17 hours a day. She was chartreuse green. She was so fatigued. Her brain function wasn't working. All of a sudden she couldn't do her schoolwork. She was finishing up her capstone project for her senior year. Um, and that's when we knew we had to drop everything and get to an answer. Finally, after five years, 23-year-old Addie Cluworth says she got the right diagnosis, Lyme. It felt like a fight for my life. Addie's mom suspects it may go back to a trip to Maine when her daughter had a tick bite. The Centers for Disease Control calls Lyme disease an epidemic and estimates 300,000 people each year get Lyme disease. It's the most commonly reported tick-borne illness in the country. When I saw how prevalent it was and how many people it affected and how debilitating it was, I'm like, we have to shout this from a mountaintop. This needs to stop. Addie's mom, Kim Cluworth, a producer, is working on a documentary about their experience of being misdiagnosed. But there's more to the story. In our documentary, we're following a family up in Maine that lives on the border of Canada and Maine. Young couple in their 20s, five kids. The whole family's sick and they don't have the means to get them treated. And so that needs to change. Their plan is to submit their work to the Sundance Film Festival in August. It's a topic Addie feels has more momentum since Justin Bieber's announcement. It just felt like this silent community was about to have a voice. I was heartbroken that he has it because it's, it's an awful disease, but I was silently like, yes, okay. Now people are gonna pay attention. You see, Addie says the hardest part of this Lyme journey has been feeling like no one quite understands and at worst, don't even believe you're sick. But it feels like you're standing in the middle of the street screaming and nobody can hear you. Like it feels like no one's listening to you. I've had countless doctors tell me that, I've had doctors tell me that it's in my head, that I was making myself sick somehow. I've had people accuse um, my mom of somehow making me sick. Addie says she's still in the process of trying to beat the physical impacts of Lyme. She hopes telling her story will shed light on the other painful part of this disease. Shows the public that these are people, these are humans. Um, shows people that we're not lying, as so many have told me that I am, or exaggerate and exaggerating or being overly sensitive. I just hope that it really um, humanizes the experience for people. And that was Angela Poe Russell reporting. Addie and Kim plan to submit the documentary to the Sundance Film Festival this summer for review. And of course, we wish them the best of luck.